I've got this old Fender Squire. Uh, it doesn't play very well. It's actually a very high action, and, and it's because I'm not getting any um, adjustments from this truss rod. So I've uh, been thinking about this for a while. I've been wanting to get this corrected, but I don't want to pay for it. And so I took this apart. Well, this is the only way to do it. This is a terrible setup. And basically when I turn this rod, um, the screw here, this bolt gets stuck. Just, I mean, it doesn't turn it at all when you, when you get to the base of it. Now, what I'm going to spray into this truss cover, or into this truss rod, is a little bit of liquid wrench. I'm just going to put just a, just a dab in there, let it sit. Alright, so I sprayed a little, bit, a little in there. I'm not worried about it seeping into the wood. I'm hoping that just a little bit of that will help. Um, maybe loosen it if the truss rod is actually stuck. Um, let's see, I only get about... That's about where the nut reaches the base, and then, well, I actually feel like I've actually gotten more turns now than I have ever. It would hit the base, basically, and that's it. That's base. That's good. I know you're not supposed to be too aggressive with the truss rod like that, but uh, that seemed to have helped a little bit. It might be a little difficult to see, but there is a little more back bow now than there was before. So I've been able to crank the nut maybe about one and a half turns. Uh, if I had a better screwdriver, maybe I can get more out of it. But I don't feel like going down to the garage, and so I'm going to see if this helps. Um, I unfortunately did not think to do this until after I started working on it, so I don't have a before picture. Oh, the fun of reassembling the neck. Again, it's very difficult to tell, but it is definitely lower. So cranking that helped, um, although it's always scary. You go online, they always say, shouldn't have to turn the truss rod too hard. Shouldn't have to, if you have to fight it, don't do it. Um, I had to fight it. This isn't the first guitar I've had to fight the damn truss rod on. Uh, you know, the, the new guitars, quarter crank moves it but these some of these old guitars you buy they haven't they haven't been work i mean this guitar is literally from like 82 1982 fender squire i wouldn't be surprised and you saw where that truss rod is pain the ass to get to i wouldn't be surprised if the thing has never been turned but i'll let it sit and kind of think about how it was just violated i signed out too early so there's actually too much backbone now um yeah, so that's, uh, I'm going to let it sit though for the day, let it contemplate, yes, that it is now backbowed, which is good because before it was never backbowed, so I'm just going to kind of let it sit, maybe let the neck kind of, I, I think it's, I think it was stored for a very long time, when I bought this guitar I got the impression it was some kid selling his uncle's old guitar, it was probably in the closet, um, it was really nasty when I got it. Uh, so I'm going to let it sit with the truss rod at full tension. And then when I get home, I will loosen it slightly.
So I decided not to adjust the truss rod anymore. I left it where it was this morning and I restrung this guitar with some heavy bottoms, thin tops, and it pulled the neck to the sweet spot, the spot I like. And so now this, this fretboard is practically flat and action is good. Um, only problem I have is I have a dead spot here and some fret buzz down here and I, what I found out was I pulled out my fret rocker and I have some very uneven frets. Glad I did not snap my truss rod. Please be careful if you have to muscle it. It's very highly recommended you, you, that you don't do it, but um, I was fortunate that I did not twist this off and break it. Um, and. I'm very happy with the results. So good luck with your truss rod adjustments. If you have any questions, message me. I can try and help you, maybe at least point you in the right direction.